In this video, you and I are going to break down the show called The Button, Singles Sabotage Their Chances at Love. So let's see what the video has in store for us. If you and I have not met yet, my name is Troy, and my goal is to help you in your life. I'm a speaker, author, and coach, and I want to help you to find that meaningful relationship, have more success, more happiness than you ever could imagine. So let's go ahead and break down this video right now. Welcome to The Button, a speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all-expenses-paid second date. This is the button. Hi. I'm Nick. Nick. I'm Liz. Nice to Liz, meet you. Liz, nice to meet you. Okay. Tell me about yourself, Liz. Oh, yeah. Um, I love reading. Okay. What kind of book? What's your like favorite book right now? Um, my favorite book right now is Earthling. I think it's based in South Korea. Well, I'm not Korean, so I don't know much about South Korea. I'll be honest with you, I really love tattoos, as mm -hmm. you can see. Yeah. Uh, I want to be a tattoo artist one day. Okay, That's the whole goal. Cool. Would you like to see my chest tattoo? Do I have to see it? <laughs> I don't really get showed off that often. Okay. But I am. I'm tatted. Yeah. I see that you have tattoos now. I, I didn't notice that. Yeah. But yeah, I don't get to show that one that off that okay. much. Nick isn't the biggest fan of vegans. If you're just out there eating grass all day, what am I going to do? Yeah, so I'm, you don't like vegetables? No, but I'm just looking for a girl that can eat a chicken bone, like, clean. Oh, like, one bite. You, oh. I'll be real with you. I'm not big into the reading. Okay. <laughs> I'm low-key illiterate. It's okay. I'm so sorry, though. All right. Well, pleasure. Talk next. Something I liked that he did well was in the beginning, he asked, tell me about yourself. Because you're allowing the other person an opportunity to invest in the conversation. That which we invest in matters more to us. Let's continue to watch and see how he does. What's happening? I'm Nick. What's up, Nick? What's your name? Jupiter. J like the actual, you're actually named after the planet. Yeah, I'm actually a planet. I don't think I've ever met somebody named Jupiter or a planet. So when she says her name, like my name's Jupiter, he could be like, Jupiter, I don't know if I've ever met someone named Jupiter. I don't know if this is gonna work out. Just a little bit of pullback, a little bit of like energy to take away. It's gonna cause her again to invest a little bit. Well, let me tell you why it would work. Oftentimes as men, we feel like we always have to be the one to keep the conversation stimulated and going. So we oftentimes over validate the moment, like we give too much to it then it's easy for the other person, again, because they've never invested into the moment, to then walk away from it. Ideally, you want to slow down in the moment, find those little nuances that you can create connection or even take away a little bit and then allow the other person to invest. That would be a good opportunity to do just that. So let's see how it continues. Planet. It's actually my alter ego. Is there a reason? So like, there's like a time in my life where I felt like I didn't like that version of myself. So I like recreated a new version of myself and I named her Jupiter. Uh, how do you feel about tattoos? Um... I'm scared of needles. You're scared of needles? But are you open to the idea of getting a tattoo one day? I am. Do you want to see my chest tattoo? Not really, but go ahead. <laughs> you didn't even really want to see it. Ouch, Jupiter. I just feel like you're not my type. OK. All right, bye. It was nice. This is a good opportunity for you and I to discuss value. And so in that moment, when he's just like blatantly saying like, what do you think about tattoos? Do you want to see my chest tattoo? Is he adding any value to the moment? Maybe, right? But probably not. And so rather in any situation in life, you're always asking yourself, what does this moment need? And so that is how you add value to the moment or a situation. So maybe a little bit of humor around something, or he could have framed it up and made fun of himself and said, oh yeah, in fact, I got this funny chest tattoo. You want to take a peek? And maybe just showed her a little bit of it, something like that. He seems very one-sided in his communication. Can you see that? It's about the me show versus the you and I show. And so in conversation, you're looking to create the you and I show. Now, oftentimes when you get nervous, it's too easy to get stuck in your head. It seems kind of like what's taking place right there. And then it becomes the me show. Rather, again, you're looking for the you and I show. How did that feel, rejecting somebody? Powerful. Nice to meet you. What's, what's your, your name? name? Dylan. Oh, we asked him at the same time. Yeah, Is that no, like that's... a sign? What's, uh, what's the rings on your, on your hand? So every time I go out, I try to find like a new ring. Really? So it reminds me of like where I've been. Do you have any tattoos on I don't. You no. have a tattoo. I do. I have a couple. Do you have one on your chest you want to show us? Me? <laughs> Is that appropriate? Uh, do you want to yeah. see it? Sure. Sure. Yeah. I got It's all the way up here. And then I got these. Oh, I like that. Yeah, these are so. This is my mom, my oldest brother, my middle brother, and me. Okay. And they're just um, Eva birds. Oh, so nice. in Hawaii, like when they fly by, like, yeah. that's kind of like what it is. Do you find Dylan attractive? I think he's. I gotta think about it. That's great. <laughs> I just don't particularly date Asian yeah. men, so it's like not that you're not attractive. It's not in my like. 
oh, you got my ass. <laughs> 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 that was so smooth though. Did you see I, her hands just I like? I did. I did see that. It was nice. And yeah, nice. It was so yeah. nice. And nice. I thought he had a good vibe. I thought they actually had a little bit of chemistry there. Can you almost start to see chemistry? I want you to see that chemistry can be created, and it's not through like money or cars. There's no conversation. No one's talking about that. It's through chemistry. It's through creating tension, and oftentimes to create tension, like think about it, like actual sexual tension. There's an energy behind it. But to do that, you have to slow down your pace in a little bit. You have to feel the moment. You have to look them in the eyes. You're creating that energy. I felt like he was doing a good job of that. When the question came about his chest tattoos, I thought it would have been better to leave a little bit of mystery behind it. Like, yeah, maybe I do. Rather than just, again, revealing the chest tattoos. Mystery is a powerful thing. You want that to unfold as the conversation goes on. Oftentimes as men, what you'll do is you'll put out all the interesting interesting things about you right up front. And it's, again, kind of one of those things like, look, at, am I okay? Am I enough? You don't want to do that. You want to allow the mystery to unfold. And so if there's unique things about you, let that be discovered later on. Like, uh, okay, hey, I had to take off early. I got rock climbing practice. I got martial arts practice, whatever it is. And like, oh, what? You rock climb or you do martial arts? Oh, yeah, yeah, Let it unfold rather than just showing it right up front. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. My name's Joaquin. Joaquin. Do you two believe in God? I have really kind of radical beliefs about that. I like to hear them. Okay. I think Satan created the garden and Jesus was the serpent. Whoa. Okay. Wait, what? I'm sorry. I, th I think you're pretty. I just maybe, maybe not all the way my type. It's okay. You're not my type either. Really? Is it the yeah. glasses? It's just everything, babe. That's fair. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have to kid. Here's an example where there probably wasn't chemistry. Could you feel the difference in this interaction? There didn't seem to be any chemistry. And then again, questions about religion are things that you should avoid in initial attraction. If it ever comes up, you just move it right into a joke, switch the topics, give a little bit of information about something like, oh, it's such a crazy subject, or I grew up with crazy religious parents, and then quickly move topics and change it to something else. So acknowledge it, but then quickly move it to something of more interest. Remember, when you talk about things that are interesting to you, you will naturally sound interesting. If you're not very interested in that subject, get away from it as fast as possible. Nice to meet you. Uh, Jan? Jen. What's your name? Uh, Joaquin. Nice to meet you. Can you spell your name? J-E-N. I knew a uh, J-I-N-N. -N. That's what uh, I asked. Yeah. You would not like my first name. Janita. Spell that. Well, I'm illiterate, but J-I-N-N-I-T. <laughs> Wrong. Okay. Can you spell my name? Joaquin, you said? W A. Oh, you're so beautiful. K I N. Was I right? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you do for work? No, it's funny. Is uh, I'm going on a work trip for about a year, starting pretty soon. It's like journalism. Oh, where are you going? Uh, in the Middle East. Yeah. In two weeks, I'm gone. I'm gone to another planet. To another planet. Yeah. Like I mean, the Middle East. Yeah, it's another planet, basically. Uh, okay. I'm holding back saying some wacky stuff, but yeah. So like, do you know anything about the rest of the world or are you just like super American then? Should I be offended right now about this? No, I, are okay. you woke or something? Am I like, woke? Yeah. What do you mean? I'm awake actually, okay, I'm not woke. Okay, got yeah. it. Sense a little tension. What's going on? I'm I don't know how the Middle too. East is like a different planet, but you know, like I'm- I mean, you can't even shake a woman's hand in that part of the world. Did you know that? I, I didn't know that until yeah. pretty recently. So it's another planet. I think of this is what you consider normal here is probably a little different what's normal over there. But so, I'm actually Bosnian and I'm, I come from an Islamic okay. family, so- So our, our realm is different from other realms. Yeah, complete different, cool, yeah, cool. realms, planets. Yeah, I've also mainly We're dated- all human, you know? I've, I've mainly dated like international, like foreign women. I dated someone from Ukraine, I dated someone from Brazil, from Taiwan, from Poland. It was a pleasure. Why'd you reject me? I think we have different worldviews. I don't think another country is a different planet. I think you took that entirely the wrong way. So what I'm saying, I'm going to a different world, going to an entirely different realm that I've right. never experienced or know a lot about and right. I'm very grateful to learn about. Yeah, and that's the so, point. I hope you learn a whole lot. That's exciting. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I actually like the tension. This is something important to remember. When a woman gives you what we might call, it's called like a shit test. So say you go up, you're confident. Like he looks like he's a confident dude. Again, I want you to ideally avoid questions about anything logical, things to do with your work. But I like how he moved it to where he's going. I thought it could be kind of funny, whatever. Maybe he fumbled it completely. But the reality is there was tension in that moment. When that's taking place, slow down a little bit and realize that oftentimes that's actually a sign that there is interest in you. They're giving you a shit test to say, okay, you're confident, but are you really confident? She's a strong woman. A strong woman will often do that because they want to know, like, are you the type of guy I'm just going to walk all over? And so if I give you a little bit of a shit test, do you crumble? Well, I'm this and that, and I mean this. What I really meant to say was this. 
because they'll walk over the nice guy. That's what they're testing. And so I felt like he actually did a decent job. He was kind of staying in there and bantering with her. It's going to create the energy of either like, fuck you or man, I fuck with you. Like, I like you, right? That's it's that's what it's on the cusp of. But that actually creates tension. Don't take it personal. I think that's where he went wrong. He started to take things a little bit too personal and then they can feel that. But if you don't take it personal, if you just banter with them, well, I meant this and I've never been to another planet. Have you ever been to another planet? And just banter with them back and forth, stay loose. Don't take it personal. Then you can actually create connection and pass the shit test. Because again, she's a strong woman and she's looking to see, like, can you hang with me? That's what she's really testing. Oh, good. How are you? Jen, nice to meet you. Jen? Yeah. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Is that Trevor Jennifer? No, Janita. Janita. Okay, yeah. very interesting. Yeah, it's a little bit of an oddball. So yeah. what are you looking for? Um, I'm getting up there in age. I'm not old. I'm 29, but I'm definitely looking oh, for no. something more serious. Sure. Yeah, what about you? Uh, same, I would say. I dated a lot in college. And no, I'm how old are you? I'm sorry. 25. 25, okay, yeah. How do you feel about younger guys? You know, I'm a little impartial to it, but I just feel like yeah. probably not in the same vibe, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Do. To be honest, I'm just not a big fan of, like, the big lips. Yeah. But that's, I mean, it's totally, totally preference. Totally fine. Preference. It is a preference. I yeah. appreciate that. Cool. I need to know about the big lips now. Are they not natural? No, they're absolutely not. <laughs> Are you natural in other places as well? None of your fucking business. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, we're going to leave that there. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Have a good one. Here's an example of a strong woman. And again, this is why it's so important as a man to really be grounded and certain in certain who you are because your core essence is always shining through. Can you see how this woman would walk over a guy that's weak? And so that's why as a man, you don't need to be the nice guy. You just need to be congruent and honest to who you are. It's not that she's looking for some fake alpha male. It's someone who can handle her banter, be strong and grounded and lead the relationship. Because for someone to do that with a woman like that, they're going to have to be strong. So again, that's why she's screening. That's why earlier I said I could see the shit test, right? She's screening to see like, I'm looking for a strong man, a man who believes in his vision, believes in his purpose. That is the man that I can follow. Because anything weaker than that, man, a woman like that will devour. So remember that your core essence is always shining through. What's your hobbies? I'm very outdoorsy. I hunt and fish a lot. Yeah. What things do you hunt? Most recently, I was in Idaho and I hunted spring uh, black bear. Bears? Black bears, yeah. A lot of people. Do a lot of people don't think that like you like you can or you or you should, but um, yeah, it's pretty normal like across the western states. But I use all the meat and like eat everything, and it's really good. What part of the bear do you eat? Every part. Every part. That what you are your deal breakers? Ooh. What <laughs> <laughs> deal breakers? Okay. Hunting is a big one. Just I'm not a fan of it. Not I don't a fan know. of hunting. Oh, my dad hunts birds. But do you eat meat? Honest, I do. But like, I don't know. There's just I'm from Texas, and it's like everyone hunts, and like there's yeah. just something about hunting there that I'm just like you don't like. Yeah. Well, for me, it's like sustainability. So yeah. meat eating when you're doing like factory farms and stuff, super bad for the environment, super like unethical to animals. And so if you're hunting a wild animal that's lived its whole life in the wild, if you take one animal out, it's not like you're like, no. that's the most like ethical way you could eat meat, in my opinion. That's why I started hunting. Yeah, and I know there is a difference. Yeah. Like totally people who like live off the land and then they only hunt off yeah. the land. Farm. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so as I'm watching this, I'm not even paying attention to what they're saying. Like don't even, don't even worry about the words that are coming out of their mouth, especially those two, because that shit was just logical, right? Like, let me explain to you why hunting's good, why I don't like hunting. Boring, 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 I'm fucking asleep. What I'm looking for is the subcommunication, like your body, how you're moving, how you're connecting, the energy. Remember, tension is all about energy. And so that's why like humor, making fun of yourself, not getting too serious about anything is very important, especially with that initial attraction because you only have a limited amount of time. Not that you have to be, again, like, you know, Johnny Tambourine out there playing with your tambourines and look at me, look at all the stuff I can do. But it's just a playback of energy, a dance back and forth. We're connecting, we're feeling each other. You're metaphorically, you're doing just that. You're feeling the energy in the moment. But as soon as you get the logical banter, you're stuck in your head and you ain't going to make a connection when you're stuck in your head. So keep the moment loose, keep the moment playful, and that's going to draw attraction towards one another. So those two were stuck in the logical frame. No wonder they both bolted towards the red button. I like your dress. I'm a big fan of sundresses. Oh, thank you. It's actually a two-piece. Will has gotten a lot of women pregnant. Oh, really? How many? Something over 50. Um, I'm a sperm, I was a sperm donor. So, so you make bank then? I did in college. So oh, okay. Oh, now so I'm out of college. college. I'm done with that. Will 
did max out though. They cut them off. Yeah, they cut me off. Yeah, I was gonna say did it's you too successful. Them? It's too successful. <laughs> Do you want kids? Um, I think so. It just depends whether or not I feel like ethical bringing more people into the world by the time I want kids. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> I don't know who was first. Will got there sense. first, but by a hair. I just wasn't vibing. Mm, you know, yeah, no, not the vibe. Was well, it his 50 kids? I mean, there you go. I just wasn't vibing. Again, it's about the vibe. It's about the energy. So you're always leaning towards cultivating the energy of the moment. Let's keep going. Okay. What's your name? Ida. I'm Will. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Name the most unattractive feature about the person sitting across from you. Holy Damn! Oh, okay. I just don't like this. The sash. You don't Sorry. like the sash? I don't. It's literally hanging over your lips. So then, if someone. Okay. It, it, but I'm can't. a good kisser. So, like, it makes up for it. I mean, I like your hair, but I feel like it's not natural, right? No, it's not. This ain't yeah. my real hair. I know, that's what I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm very much like, a, like, I like girls to be more natural, but that's standard if, like, that's the length of hair you want. That takes a long time to grow out. So, yeah, I yeah. imagine that's a lot of work. So. You dated outside of your ethnicity before? I have. My dating experience started off dating more of... White his, boys? Yeah, I dated okay. white boys at first. I've only had a few relationships, but oh, like really? casually seeing people, yeah, I've pretty much been with everything under the sun. Black, Asian, Indian, you know, Middle Eastern. Could you see yourselves together? The sash threw me off. Really? I, just hate, I really hate mustaches. I'm hey. sorry. I had a boyfriend who tried to do that, and it, I threw up. I, I it literally made so me. So my face up. is. No, you, you want to throw up. Ah, I'm sorry. Shit, he's quick. <laughs> he's loosening up. More of his personality is starting to come out. And I love the idea of looking at your insecurities. This is a good example, right? As a man, something very important that you can do is to learn to make fun of your own biggest insecurities. So like, let's say, like, I mean, I'm, you see my face right now, right? My, I got a big nose. I got big nostrils. I make fun of that shit. Like it allows me to smell things better. I got small ears and a big nose. Something went on there. I don't know what happened. I've already made fun of all that stuff. I don't care. I'm not reactive to those types of things. And that's, again, what a lot of times a woman is looking for is like, how certain you are you about yourself? So if you're reactive and insecure about certain things, they're going to feel that because then they're wondering, well, where else is that insecurity going to show up? What kind of music are you a fan of? I've been really into like R&B, soul, funk, okay. jazz, some hip hop. So like anything you can dance to. But are I really you a dancer? Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I like grew up dancing. Okay. My parents had me in ballet when I was really little, and then I switched to hip hop. You look very like physically fit. I like being active, like especially when it's nice out. Okay. Like I like being outside, like going on hikes. So you're outdoors. Um, like r relatively. relatively, I don't want to do like a one month backpack. So you wouldn't do a backpacking? <laughs> are you Maybe like, like are you like a glamper? Or are you like can you do like a weekend on the ground, dirt? Oh yeah, fire? I've done that before. Okay. Okay. How do you feel about? Dating older women. I have dated older women. Like how much older? So I was talking to a girl who's 30. I've been with a woman who's 40. 40? Mm -hmm. Wait, how old are you? How old do you think I am? 26. 25. How old are you? What do you think? <laughs> I feel like you're 27. I'm 31. No way. Yeah. So how do you feel about younger guys? I've been on dates with people that were born in the 2000s. Oh my gosh. Is that legal? <laughs> You've been on a date with a 40-year-old. Okay, that's different. I was... How is that different? <laughs> that's fair. Okay, fair enough. Are you two vibing? I'm having I a good I time. like you, yeah. yeah. You think you like me? I didn't say think. Bit. I said I like you. Oh, you me. did? Okay. No, I like you. You seem nice. Okay, I want to try something. If you guys consent, I want you to hold hands and then stare into each other's eyes for 10 seconds. I love eye contact. <laughs> no talking. You have really nice eyes. Sorry, I can't Thank talk. Thank you. Oh my God. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> I'm gonna go red again. And if you don't pass me, I'm gonna send you two on another day. Oh no! I don't feel like a spark for okay. me personally. That's fair. I actually, honestly, like I went on a date before I came here, and I really <laughs> like this girl. And so See, this is actually go. kind of like oh, perfect. There like, you go. It's anyway, just like validation but is, that you should but is, see that person. It is again. really nice to me. Another beautiful example of what it's like to either feel or not feel the vibe. So remember to keep crafting and bringing forward your personality. Allow yourself to be a goofball, to play, to make fun of yourself. Be loose in the moment. Don't take yourself or life too seriously. And that will shine through and that will help you create that initial attraction. Hope you enjoyed. If you have not yet, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, deuce.